Narito ang mga paalala kung paano makaiwas sa magminsalang sunog sa pagsalubong ng bagong taon. Una, kung maaari, huwag gumamit ng anumang uri ng paputok. Sa halip, gumamit ng alternatibong pampaingay tulad ng torotot, lata at iba pa na hindi mapanganib sa tao. Pangalawa, kung hindi maiwasan, bumili lamang ng paputok at pailaw sa mga rehistradong tagagawa at nagbibenta nito. Pangatlo, hanggat maaari, huwag mag-iimbak o magtatago ng paputok ng matagal. Kung kinakailangan, itago ito sa toyo at saradong lugar na malayo sa mga potensyal na magsindi sa mga ito tulad ng saksakan ng kuryente, switch, lutuan at iba pa. Pangapat, huwag ipahawak o bibigyan ng kahit na anumang uri ng paputok ang mga bata. Maging ang anumang uri ng pailaw ay dapat na may patnubay at pagbabantay ng mga nakakatanda. Panglima, Magtanong sa inyong barangay kung saan ang tinilagang lugar para magpaputok hindi kung saan-saan lamang, lalo na sa matataong lugar. At pang-anim, huwag magpalipad ng mga sky lanterns. Maaari itong bumagsak at pagmulan ng sunog. Ito ang mga paalala mula sa Bureau of Fire Protection Caraga Region at laging tatandaan na sa pag-iwas sa sunog, hindi ka nag-iisa. sa Bureau of Fire Protection sa Surigao City Fire Station ang ipangunahan kung mahimo ayaw paggamit o isang unsang matang sa pagbuto sa kalagang ngitan sa balay padili pang pagbuto palihog pangutana sa inyong barangay kung asa ang saktong lugar kung pwede mong pagbuto ayaw pagbuto bisan asa ilabi na sa Bureau of Protection sa Surigao City Fire Station ang ipangunahan sa Atong City Fire Marshal Inspector Abel Dito Ano yung karoon para magpahinap? Sa bulan ko Desembre, magpipila na lang sa adlaw, asa na pong sa ulugo ng panahon sa kapakuhan. Enjoy the season and stay safe everyone. This is Fire Officer 1, Janine Joy Bimanda, Provincial CRS ng Surigao del Norte, aktibong bumbero sa Bangong Normal. Sama sa atong mga sagunang bayan members dito. So, ibiya anak ko ang atong mga piling kamot ng sukat. A blessing and turnover ceremony of brand new Isuzu fire truck from the local government unit of Kagwait to Kagwait Fire Station held last December 20, 2021 at Kagwait Fire Station. The activity was attended by the municipal mayor Lilian Yu Lusada, legislative members headed by the municipal vice mayor Milchi C. Toscano, BFP Caraga Regional Director, Senior Superintendent Fred L. Trajeros Jr., represented by the acting provincial fire marshal of Surigao del Sur, Senior Inspector Kenneth Van S. Del Reyes, and duty personnel of Caguayt Fire Station, headed by SFO2 Avi M. Didumo. SFO2 Avi M. Didumo expresses his appreciation to the local government unit of Caguayt for the support to Caguayt Fire Station. Our new fire truck brings good news to the municipality of Caguayt. New equipment gives us additional advantage during incidents. We will make sure that this will be efficient used to save lives and protect properties of our people, he added. December 9, 2021, at 9 o'clock in the morning, the signing of deed of lot of donation between the provincial government of Agusan del Norte, represented by Governor Del D. Cordera and the Bureau of Fire Protection, Caraga, represented by Senior Superintendent Fred L. Trajeras Jr., was signed at Almond Inland Hotel and Resort with one city. 
in this deed of lot of donation, the provincial government of Agusan del Norte will donate 1,000 square meter lot located at Barangay Sanghan, Kabadbaran City to the BFP Agusan del Norte in consideration of the need of an area for the typical building of the said provincial office and the future development project in connection with the modernization of BFP. Prior to this, the OPFM Agusan del Norte located at Barangay Sikatuna, Butuan City beside the river bank along with the Butuan City Central Fire Station are advised by the DPWH to evacuate in Leo to President Duterte Build 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 Project called the River Park. Acting out of this urgent need, the Acting Provincial Fire Marshal of Agusan del Norte headed by Senior Inspector Julius Darrell in Bulatao took his initiative and requested assistance from the good government, of which the said request he immediately approved of. On behalf of our regional director, Senior Superintendent Trajeras, and the 205 BFP personnel of Agusan del Norte, led by Senior Inspector Bulatao, we are very much grateful to Governor Carvera for all your support to the BFP and especially for this lot of the future typical OPFM building. This is SFO and Jacqueline R. Lombarda, Provincial CRS of Angusan del Norte, reporting Aktibong Bombero sa Bagong Normal. The Bureau of Fire Protection, Agusan del Sur, would like to showcase the accomplishment of this month under the leadership of Chief Inspector Peter T. Montaos. Acting Provincial Fire Marshal. To start with, Bayugan City Fire Station had conducted and provided assistance to City Social Welfare Development Office of Bayugan City in the packing of goods as pamaskong handog for 43 barangays of this city. Fire Station renovated its office extension for the welfare of their clients in the passing the business permit and also will be used for physical conditioning to boost their physical and mental alertness. The initiative made by SFO4 Alan B. Salbanya of Santa Osipa and SFO1 Marian P. Tomblos of Rosario Fire Station. Look deep into the nature and then you'll understand everything better. As the office of the Provincial Fire Marshal, led by Senior Inspector Abelardo El Silverio, joins the lancing of the Kalikasang Buhay Conservation and Rehabilitation Project hosted by Provincial Environment and Natural Resources Office, Province of Dinagat Island. Last December 7, 2021, Office of the Provincial Fire Marshal led by Senior Inspector Abelardo El Silverio, Acting Provincial Fire Marshal, and SFO for Lisel C. Lisundra, Deputy Provincial Fire Marshal, joins the Provincial Environment and Natural Resources Office at its launches the Kalikasang Buhay Conservation and Rehabilitation Project. On the city event, Office of the Provincial Fire Marshal personnel participated on a tree planting activity at Barangay Quarenta, San Jose Province of Dinagat Islands. Those who contemplate the beauty of the earth finds reserve of strength that will endure as long as life lasts. This is it, Owen Jarson B. Claro, CRS, Aktibong Bombero sa Bagong Normal. Bayanihan Bakunahan, the dedicated three-day National Vaccination Days, urges its stakeholders and all Filipinos to join and get vaccinated against COVID-19. 
Following the recent advancements in the discovery of COVID-19 vaccines, the Philippine government is determined to secure the highest number of inoculations possible to at least form herd immunity. Under the green light signal of the Department of Health, the National Task Force Against COVID-19 and Local Government Units coordinated and organized to impose the whole community approach to target 15 million individuals in a three-day vaccination program. The Bayanihan Kapunahan, National COVID-19 Vaccination Days. The Bureau of Fire Protection Caraga Task Force COVID-19 Vaccine, under the leadership of Senior Superintendent Fred El Plejeras Jr., deployed a total of 427 personnel, 97 of whom are nurses, to assist the activity which is simultaneously launched in the Phase 1 of Bayanihan Bakunahan on November 29-30 until the first day of December this year at the designated vaccination sites within the Caraga region. It followed the second phase of Bayanihan Bakunahan on December 20-22, 2021. In accordance with the implementation of deployment plan of Bayanihan Bakunahan National Vaccination Days, formulated by the BFP Karag Regional Task Force COVID-19 Vaccine, the 427 BFP contingents were deployed to 97 vaccination sites with the following taskings. Standby fire suppression team, standby medical staff for patients with adverse effects following immunization, fire inspectors for vaccine and equipment storage, information campaigner, vaccination team, data management team, and other tasks requested by the IATF. The collective efforts of the different stakeholders and citizens make a huge difference in fighting against COVID-19. This is F4 Andrew Andres Ranario, ang Tibong Bombero sa Bagong Normal. and service. The Bureau of Fire Protection Caraga re-echoes its core values in celebration of the 40th Fire Service Recognition Day, citing the year 2021 as a year of monumental accomplishments. But what drives the agency to incessantly seek improvement? We look up to role models. Role models represent endeavors far beyond the normal scope of human experiences, leaving legacies persistent, immortal, and worthy of emulation, for they depict perennial values and guiding principles that withstand the test of times. Individuals who look up to their examples use them as an ambit in the ever-evolving society. Speaking of role models, Presidential Proclamation Number 1312 issued by the late President Ferdinand E. Marcus Sr. mandated the Bureau of Fire Protection to yearly memorialize the valor of three firefighters, Lieutenant Fabican, Fireman Viray, and Fireman Planas, who died during the fateful fire incident at Miralco Rockwell Power Plant on December 14, 1973. Forty-eight years later, their act of self-sacrifice continues to shepherd new breed of firefighters in the same brand of public-spirited service committed to the prevention and suppression of destructive fires and respond to emergencies. This year's theme, Sa Pagtugo ng Bomberong Pilipino Sa Hangon ng Modernisasyon, directs the BFP to transcend, evolve, and adapt to its expanding role. From the conventional firefighting duties to becoming the lead agency in disaster and emergency responses, according to Republic Act 11589, also known as the BFP Modernization Law of 2021. The Bureau of Fire Protection Caraga, under the leadership of Regional Director Senior Superintendent Fred Linazan Trajeros Jr., holds dear onto these aspirations, as exhibited in a long list of heroic accomplishments of this year such as the multiple rescue operations during the attempted suicide at Butuan City, search and retrieval of the unfortunate treasure miners at Marihatag Surigao del Sur, preventive evacuation during Tropical Storm Aurin, and the region-wide deployment of BFP Caraga personnel during the Bayanihan Bakunahan National Vaccination Days. These are only made possible by the hard work and support of the 1,152 bomberos and bomberas of Caraga. Today, December 18, 2021, join us in honoring our modern heroes through the presentation of accolades to our exemplary commissioned and non-commissioned officers, retirees, as well as to our brothers in uniform who have gone far beyond this world while fulfilling their duties as firefighters. Indeed, 
The Bureau of Fire Protection Caraga has gone far from its humble history and will continue to move further in efforts to ensure a fire safe community for God, country, and the people of Caraga region. Nagdulot ng trauma ang bagyong Odette sa mga residente at tulungan. Magdamag ang ulan sa Butuan City. Iga sa tindi na hagupin ang bagyong Odette. Bagyong Odette ang ating maliit na teritoryo. Bagyong Odette dito sa Surigao City. Pero dito Kapit dito sa bagyong Odette binagi sa... May nagbabantang bagyo na papasok sa par at pinangalan ng bagyong Odette. Naghanda ang BFP Caraga ng ICS kaunay ang iba pang ahensya para sa darating na sakuna. Malakas na hangin na bumabayo sa mga parteng apektado ng bagyo. Napakalakas na ulan, nagdulot ng baha. Maraming lugar ang sinapit ng napakalakas na bagyo. Madaming tao ang nagdusa, mga kagamitan na napinsala, mga ari-arian na wasak, at ang mga daanan na giba. Tubig, kuryente, makain na pangunahing kailangan ng mga residente at bahay na matutuluyan ang nawala sa loob lamang ng ilang oras.
bagamat sa pinsala na naidulot ng bagyong udet. Tulungan ang iba't ibang ahensya na may bangon at maitaguyod muli ang mga lugar na napinsala. Mga donasyon, pera, pagkain, tubig ang naibigay sa mga residenteng kinapos ng dahil sa bagyo. Sabay-sabay tayong magtulungan, sabay-sabay tayong lalaban. Fellow firefighters, friends, loved ones, brethren. In James chapter 1 verses 2 to 4, Jesus said, Count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet these trials of various kinds. For you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. And let this steadfastness have its full effect that you may be perfect and complete, lucky in nothing. The desolation left by Typhoon Odette has no doubt pushed us to the extent of our faith. Questions of why and how continue to fright everyone. Yet, despite the continued uncertainty, let us be reminded of the message of Christmas, the message of hope, compassion, and love. It was in the darkness that God sent Jesus to bring assurance so we shall strive to emerge as bearers of hope to one another. Therefrom, allow me to thank all the individuals who in one way or another form as building blocks of base entire effort to the national headquarters headed by Fire Director Lois Porakan and the regional directors who sent additional Troops and equipment, I'll just leave it to God. The rewards for lending your helping hands to the people of Surigao del Norte and the province of Dinagat Islands. Same goes to the partner organizations and most of all, to the officers and personnel of the Bureau of Fire Protection Caraga region, who despite being victims themselves, never refused to the calling of their profession to save lives and properties. May this occurrence renew our appreciation of the Bureau and its founding principles be known that Caraga will never and never, never forget your charity and that of good will. Together, we will rise. Bangun Surigaunun, Bangun Karaganun.